I am Juoni Pallasma, architect and professor from Helsinki, and this recording is being made in my architecture studio in Helsinki on Saturday, 7th November 2015. The common understanding is that the spaces and places in which we live and work are merely neutral stages for the acts of life. However, our spatial settings and our mental contents are one continuum. So spaces, rooms and places are not outside us, they are part of us and we are equally part of them. As the American literary scholar Robert Harrison writes, Quote, in the fusion of space and soul, the soul is as much a container of place as place is a container of the soul, and both are susceptible to the same forces of destruction. As architects, we tend to think of our work intellectually and rationally, rather than as emotional experiences. We live in a world of materiality, gravity and erosion, and the task of architecture is to strengthen our sense of reality. Alvar Aalto once confessed, I get my strongest inspiration from reality. Contemporary architecture frequently seeks experiences of shock, strangeness, awe, and alienation through a language of forms that are expected to generate experiences of unreality and dream. The fundamental distinction between architecture and entertainment has been lost. Yet we are biological creatures who need to experience a world of reality that activates and satisfies our senses, emotions, as well as intellectual judgments. We are biologically programmed to survive in relation to the causalities and laws of the physical world, and our senses and neural systems are adapted and tuned to this world of reality. The currently fashionable architecture goes against these fundamental conditions in its desire to impress us and manipulate our emotions and thoughts. In my view, architecture needs to be conservative in the sense of conserving our essential relationship with the realities of the world. Modern architecture at large has been predominantly interested in form and an overall whiteness following Le Corbusier's credo, according to which architecture is, quote, the masterly, correct and magnificent play of masses brought together in light, end of quote. The prevailing architectural intentions and criteria in the age of modernity have primarily been visual, but vision is only one of our sensory modalities, and besides, we seem to deploy more than five Aristotelian senses. I suggest that the most important senses in architectural experience are the sense of touch, both actual and ideated, and the atmospheric and existential senses. Even our experiences of space are not likely to be primarily based on focused and centered vision but on unfocused and peripheral perceptions, which give rise to our exper experiences of place, atmosphere, and mood, as well as of ourselves. As architects, we need to expand our understanding of the role and nature of our sensory systems and experiences of architecture.